let's say you have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. I'm going to teach you the most basic principle of multiplying and dividing radicals that I can really teach you, and that is this right here. When you have a radical, like a square root or a cube root or something, and you're multiplying it by another radical, all you do is you write another radical sign down, and you multiply the insides. 3 times 3 is 9. Just make sure that whatever you multiply here, it has to stay underneath a new radical, because after all, that's what you're dealing with in the first place. So you could write that down as your answer, but we know that we should always check to see if the radical is fully simplified. In this case, if you haven't already memorized it, um, 9 is equal to 3 times 3. These are square roots, so I'm going to look for pairs of 2, which I've found. And so I can pull this 3 out of the radical and write it down. So the answer to this is, in the end, 3. If you were to go in your calculator, take the square root of 3, and take another square root of 3 and multiply them together, you would get 3. Okay? What if you had square root of 2 times square root of 8? Okay? I want you to use the principle we just talked about, which is very simple. You write another radical sign down, and you take what's underneath and you multiply them together. 2 times 8 is 16, so you put that underneath a new radical. Okay? Again, you need to ask yourself, is this fully simplified? 16 is equal to 4 times 4. These are square roots, so I'm looking for pairs. So, if you haven't already memorized it, the square root of 16 is equal to 4. And that's the answer to that problem. And you'll find that as you work these problems, you'll start to memorize things. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 64 is 8. You'll, you'll get to memorize those. But for now, I'm doing it kind of a long way to, to reinforce things. Okay? So that's the, really the basic idea. You just, and that's all we're going to do in this section. We're just going to do more and more complicated problems. But we're going to be multiplying radicals the whole time. What if you had the cubed root of 8 times the cubed root of 8? Well, just like I told you, you just write down a new symbol, cubed root. 8 times 8 is 64, so I write that down inside the radical. And then again, I can't stop here. I need to try to simplify. 64 is 8 times 8. 8 is 2 times 4. And 4 is 2 times 2. I'm going to have the same thing over here. 2 times 4 gives me 8. And under the 4, 2 times 2 gives me the 4. These are cubed roots. Okay, cubed roots. So I'm going to be looking for pairs underneath the dotted line. This is included, everything here is included because that's the bottom of the tree. I'm looking for pairs of three. Here's a pair of three. And looky here, here's a pair of three. Okay? So, one, two comes out here. Okay? And another 2 comes out from this pair of 3. 2 times 2 just gives me 4. There's no radical left over. There's no cubed root anywhere because I've used everything in my tree and I've found pairs of 3. So just like in the previous section, that's all I'm trying to do, and the answer is 4. If you were to take this and put it in your calculator, it would give you exactly 4. Okay. Let's work with some variables here to mix things up. If I have the square root of 